And this evidence conclusively exonerates Anthony Garcia and, and shows that, I mean, it cannot be a coincidence that two manners of killing being signature-like and the crossover between the two scenes. That remark to KMTV made by Allison Mata, a Chicago lawyer representing accused Omaha killer Anthony Garcia, has led to drastic action by the prosecutor. Mata claims that DNA from a cold case murder suspect in Omaha is a match to evidence discovered at the scene of the Dundee killings of Shirley Sherman and Thomas Hunter in 2008. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. Douglas County Attorney Don Klein says that's inaccurate and a reckless disregard for the truth. Tomorrow, his office will go before a judge and demand that the Matas be thrown off the case. Tonight, reporter Maya Sines went to one of the top legal minds in Omaha for some important analysis. Maya. Craig, Jen, Mata's comments could have serious repercussions for Garcia's case. According to the legal expert I spoke today, he says it's clear the Mata's violated the rules of professional ethics. I think it's important that we, we let that, this matter be taken up in the, in the courtroom as it's supposed to be. And there's been enough stuff said outside the courtroom, and that's part of the issue here. Constitutional law professor Michael Fenner agrees with that statement, calling Mata's comments premature and something that should be argued in court. Fenner says now the judge must hold the defense team accountable. My guess is that he will find them, hold them in contempt of court, and, and put a kind of substantial fine on each one of the three and tell them they've got to proceed with the case. That action might happen tomorrow, and the outcome could delay the Garcia murder trial. It's supposed to go to trial starting Monday, and maybe they don't want it to go to trial. And so it's, it's some kind of a technique to get the trial stalled. Even if the judge does not postpone the murder trial, Fenner says this new information opens a door for a possible appeal down the road. If the defendant is convicted in a criminal case, then the defendant can appeal that conviction and allege that some error was committed during the trial and can get the conviction reversed and sent back for a new trial. So part of what Judge Randall has to decide, I think, is how much jury prejudice is likely to come from this. The Mata's office did not comment on today's motion, and the hearing is set for tomorrow afternoon. We'll have, we will have all the updates from court tomorrow. Reporting live in the studio, Maya Signs, KMTV Action 3 News. And tonight, KMTV just obtained these documents from district court. Omaha lawyer Daniel Stockman, who has been advising the Mata's, is withdrawing from the case. Stockman believes the Nebraska Council for Discipline could find that Allison Mata violated the rules, and he does not want to be held accountable for Mata's behavior.